Coming up on this week's show, Vintage Doom as Magma Karma returns. Soul destroying Doom from Ivas, and is Bandcamp simply doomed? Stay tuned. Welcome back to another episode of A Weekly Dose of Oil, the only show that descends into the heavy underground. Magma Karma returneth, yes, five years on from their cosmic debut Mind Tripper, the Oslo-based Psych Doom Trio have come out swinging with a brand new track, Apocalypse Bays. And I am super stoked to today confirm that yes, a brand new Mark Makarma album is coming in 2024, only on Cosmic Artifacts. So put that in your pipe and smoke it, mother lovers. Right, the news. Hossavet in Oslo, Norway celebrates 10th anniversary with a jam-packed lineup including headline sets from Greenland, Long River and Witchcraft. The two-day, four-stage celebration commences next weekend on the 27th and 28th of October. Still time for witchcraft to pull out then. <laughs> I jest, I jest. I'm a huge fan of witchcraft. Eleanor, how about some new music in 2024? Color Hayes add more dates to their European tour, which kicks off tomorrow evening, Ludwigsburg, Germany, with this tasty lineup featuring Monkey Free and Cosmic's very own Humulus will be playing tracks from the brand new release, Flowers of Death. Freak Valley Festival has announced its next set of bands for its 2024 edition, including Cadaver, Emil and the Slippers, Death Chant, God Sleep and Splinter. And finally, Bandcamp, the platform that has championed independent artists, labels and underground music around the world for close to two decades, has changed hands once again. Less than a year after it was acquired by Epic Games, New Owner Song Trader, a company that specializes in B2B music licensing and publishing. No, that was not a mistake. I did indeed just say B2B music licensing and publishing. This week commenced its takeover with the in vogue approach of laying off half of the Bandcamp workforce. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, fucking hell. Last month, SongTrader said it would continue to operate Bandcamp as a marketplace and music community with an artist-first revenue share. The company also claimed that it would keep initiatives such as Bandcamp Daily and Bandcamp Friday. Aha! You see, not all bad news. It's not like big tech companies like to lie. For now, the future of Bandcamp remains uncertain but it has certainly sent ripples of panic throughout the scene. Well, fuck. How do we follow that bombshell? I'll tell you how, with an anxiety-inducing slab of psych doom, of course. Out now on King Volume Records and with European distribution from yours truly here at Cosmic Artifacts, we present to you Iris the Falling. Shall we take a listen? Yes, as everything about this record suggests, this is some dream-crushing doom indeed. I mean, listen to that intro. 
That's some apocalyptic eyes wide shut shit right there. Iris is the one man sight doomed to her to four spawned from the mind of Blake Carrera of Austin, Texas. Heavily influenced by the scribblings of my former pupil, Alistair Crowley, Iris doesn't fuck about in piling on the sense of dread and impending doom. From the very first notes of opening track Prometheus, Iris cranks the tension like a rusty pair of thumbscrews, setting the tone perfectly for this nightmare-inducing journey into the dark forbidden unknown. From here on out, you better hope you are of sound mind, as there are no rainbows and pink elephants to be found in this psychedelic nightmare. with its haunting choir-like vocals and whirling leads thundering wall of distortion provides no relief. And I repeat, you better make sure you're of sound mind before pressing play on this one. The ritual continues with the light of evil. This is about as cheery and uplifting as the album gets, which says a lot. Next comes Be Not A Man. If listening on Spotify, the track's accompanying visualizer depicts Jesus Christ dying on the cross. Yeah. Not to forget when listening that this album comes from and is being played by one albeit unhinged man. A phenomenal amount of work has gone into this record. And never once do you feel like you are listening to anything than a group of highly accomplished musicians playing together. Crossing the Veil is the one moment in the album that allows you up for a lung full of filthy air. Just as well this is the final track then, as any more time submerged within the falling would surely cause an existential crisis. Here we catch a glimpse of that Texas heritage. The strumming of a beat-up old acoustic lets us know we're in the south. This is Ivers' Planet Caravan, and it's a welcome bookend to the nightmare endured. Start to finish, the falling drags us, kicking and screaming into the place that we often dare go. Our minds. This is nothing short of a psych doom masterpiece, and if he never produces another record again, Ivers has undoubtedly delivered a record that will surely gain cult status within the scene for years to come. If doom and gloom are your thing, then you will be like a pig in shit. The falling goes above and beyond in its dark, atmospheric exploration of the occult. So what say you? Do you dare enter the falling? The falling is out now on limited edition vinyl via King Volume and Cosmic Artifacts as well as across all major digital platforms. You can grab your copy today via the link in the description.
Now, with one week to go until its closing deadline, I would like to remind you about the awesome vinyl giveaway we have on the moment with Mr. Doom. Together, we have teamed up to give one of you, yes, you, the chance to win 30 plus vinyl from the Cosmic Store. Again, hit the link below if you would like to find out more, and more importantly, enter. The draw will close at midnight on Old Hallow's Eve, and the winner will be announced right here on the show, November 3rd. One last announcement from me, I have conjured up a spectacular Halloween sale. Slashing prices across a whole host of fiendishly good vinyl. And as if that wasn't enough to set your pulses racing, you can reap a further 20% discount when you spend over 50 euro on selected items. There are some absolute monstrous records in there to be dug up, so head over and dredge the sale today. You never know what you'll find. Right. Before we go, we just have enough time for... Father of the Week! And in keeping with the Halloween vibe, today's songs are all about horror. Let me know your favorite horror-themed songs below. I'll start, of course. This is Masters of Brutality by Church of Misery. Until next week, my disciples, keep it loud, keep it heavy, keep it cosmic.